Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Michael at RBM Crypto. Today's video will be covering how to add the Pith Network to your Solana wallet on your Tracer Safe 3. And then we're gonna deposit some Pith to your wallet address and then we're gonna send it back to a wallet of your choosing. That way you can see how you can send and receive Solana based tokens on your Tracer Safe 3 device. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you have your Tracer Safe 3 plugged into your computer and unlocked. So you can see here, I'm currently on my dashboard. My wallet is unlocked and I can go over to my account section and then we'll go to Solana. And once we're in Solana, we'll click our account and then we're gonna head on over to tokens. So you can see right now, there's no tokens here. What we'll do is once we actually send some Pith network to our Solana address, this will populate with the Pith tokens showing. So what you're gonna have to do at this point now is head on over to the receive tab and you can see my address here and now I'll hit show full address. When I hit this button, it's gonna ask me to confirm my address on my actual device itself. So I'm gonna take a look here really quickly and everything matches up. So I'll hit confirm and then I hit copy address. Now what we can do now is I can head on over to another window where I have some pith on a phantom wallet, which is a Solana based third party wallet. And we'll head over there. We'll send some pith to this wallet address. Okay, so I switch over to my browser. I'm gonna go over to phantom. And you can see here, I have a small amount of pith in my actual account. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna hit send. And I'm gonna paste in the address that I just copied from my Tracer desktop suite. So I'm gonna paste that in here. And then I'm gonna choose the amount. I'll just hit max and then I'll hit next, and then I'll hit send. Now, once we've taken our pith from our phantom third-party wallet here on our desktop, we can head back on over to our Tracer desktop suite and wait for the tokens to arrive. All right, and we're back on our Tracer desktop suite in our Solana wallet section. And one thing I wanted to mention before we keep going is that if you've never set up your Solana wallet within your actual Tracer device before through the desktop suite, you can go to my previous video where I show you how to do that on your Tracer Safe 3. I will post the link of that video in the description of this video as well. So now we can head on over to the token section and you can see that we've received 396.5 Pith network. For some reason at the moment, it's not actually showing the symbol for the tokens. It's just showing the contract address. This looks like it's the beginning of the contract address right there. You can see they match. But if I actually click on this button right here, it's gonna open a window for me. I'm just gonna drag this over. And you can see that it takes me to the Pith network contract address page on the Solana Explorer. So they are the correct tokens and the correct contract address. So now if you wanted to, you could just unplug your Tracer Safe 3 and your Pith network tokens are safely stored on your device. I'm just gonna close this now. And you can see now that we have this token here. If we wanna send these out and do the reverse transaction, we can just go to send. I can paste in my address and then I can choose to switch from Solana to Pith network. Once again, it's incorrectly named. I think that'll be fixed in an upcoming update for the Tracer desktop suite. So for now, what we'll do is we'll paste in our address, we'll put the balance in, and we'll send this transaction back to our Phantom wallet. So I'm gonna paste in my address, I'm gonna hit send to max, and then I'm going to hit review and send. And now it's gonna ask to review the transaction on my device itself. So I'm just gonna confirm the transaction. And then once I've actually Confirm that it's the correct address that I want my tokens to go to. I'll hit continue again on my device and confirm. And then I'll hit send. And there you have it. My Pith have now gone back to my Phantom third-party wallet. And that is going to be it for this video. I've shown you how to go into your Tracer device, into your Solana wallet section, and receive a Solana-based token, in this case, the Pith network. And then I've also shown you how to send those tokens back to another wall of your choice. Remember, if you're enjoying the content that you're seeing on this channel, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons. I really appreciate it, it helps the channel grow. And we will see you all on the next video. Thank you and take care.